Happy Hanukkah, Aaron. Oh, thanks. I, I really don't know much about it, so you'll have to tell me some things. Well, many years ago, uh, they had a uh, candle that burned for eight crazy nights. Yes, I've seen the candle. It's was it just it was eight of them, right? Um, because there's eight on the uh, game grumps.com slash merch. Should we light them? I don't, I, I don't um... Can we get a fire extinguisher? <laughs> Judaism's hard. Last time on Game Grumps. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this game for? Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Don't say we never did nothing for you. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Grumps. Yes. This, uh, this is Grumptastic content. Much to our insane shock and awe, um, the uh, the requests were enormous. For us to continue Harvester. Yeah, I, I don't know like what happened on like the tail end of this, um, like somebody like it caught wind or something, because when this first came out, um, it wasn't really getting a whole lot of views, mm -hmm. and I was like, all right, well that's it, that's that's it with that, and like even on Shuffle Master, somebody was like, you gonna finish Harvester, and I was like, well, it's not really getting any views, so it doesn't seem like many yeah, people, people don't want, want it. it. Yeah. Um, and then suddenly it just exploded with views. <laughs> it's crazy. And I was like, all right, well, I guess people want it then. So you we'll, got it. We'll uh, we'll play some fucking harvester. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, can you you remember what happened? Can you catch us up on? Okay, so in a nutshell, you are someone who has woken up with uh, a measure of amnesia. Right. And uh, you're you're in this weird town where everyone's acting and behaving strangely. Um, wow. I wonder if our microphones picked up that door. It sounded like the screams of the damned. <laughs> That's okay, Allie. Um, so, uh, that, and, um, yeah, you're, everyone's mom looks the same in this town, just like with a different wig. There, there's something very odd going on, and you're trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. Everyone calls you Steve, but you say that's not your name. Something about aliens? Yep. There's, you're supposed to be married to, uh, a girl who also seems to have been kidnapped and brought to this town. Yeah. It, we're, we're trying to figure it out. A 1955 Frag 100 with a real leather seat. Oh, fuck. Neat. I've always wanted one of those. Okay. And now we're going to Edna's Diner. Love to talk to Edna. Wow. We got Karen. This place looks fun. Edna and Sheriff Dwayne. All right. What's up, Edna? Oh, Steve, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? Through the front door? So, yeah, I'm right in front of you. I thought you were Mr. Johnson. Ah. <sighs> What would you like to order? Would you like to see Mr. Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> you know me? What about the juice crew? <laughs> sure. And my name's Edna Fitzpatrick. I'm not the one with amnesia. Then you believe me. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. People say Others that all the time. Changed. I'm not kidding. <laughs> now, Steve, faking amnesia Oh my god, she's freaking him. out. <laughs> if you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I'd expect that from Karen, not an 18-year-old. Can I just order food? <laughs> yeah. Karen. You've met Karen, my 8-year-old. Ah. Other than the diner, she's all I have. Okay. That's not very sanitary. <laughs> she's just sitting on the floor of a dirty diner. <laughs> yeah. There isn't a nicer girl in Harvest than Stephanie, Steve. You should be grateful that she's <laughs> promised you her hand. I don't remember that happening, Edna. I don't remember that right. happening. Honestly, oh, God. So childish. <laughs> I don't know what it is about marriage that turns even the bravest man into a coward. I was going to marry Karen's father when he just up and ran out on me one night. <laughs> okay, okay, so grilled bye. cheese. I said he joined the lodge. But if he did, I never saw him come out again. A hot chocolate. Even Sheriff Dwayne wasn't able to find out what happened to him. Yes, yeah. and the lodge is another important thing. Uh, that's where... The town wants the wedding to take place. One would assume if this is a weird religious cult thing happening in this town, the lodge is like their gathering place of sacrifice or whatever. Oh, okay. That's the gist. Mr. Johnson yeah. has a a liking for me. I'll say. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. Too He's never much gotten over being rejected by the lodge. Hands. 
and there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. I'm always glad when the sheriff comes in every day at noon. Hey, how's it going? I'm the sheriff. The lodge is the repository of all wisdom. You put it in your butt? You join the order of <laughs> No, the not Moon suppository. <laughs> and soon. Why? For God's sake, what is it about this place? The wheat ripens and waits not for the scythe. The ah, right. Waits uh, too long. It would better that he use the scythe to rip his own stomach out than to stay his scythe when the wheat ripens. I'll have two eggs. Yeah, two please. eggs on a roll with mustard, <laughs> mayo, ham, and cheese, please. An empty belly, the body son's belly, gurgling within or bloody on the ground. What does it benefit a man if he gains his soul and loses the world? Don't be stingy on the hash browns. <laughs> Feed yourself before it's too late. Oh. Edna? Steve. What happened? You were what? acting, Edna. What were we talking about? Blood? You were acting your little heart out. You were going for the Oscar. Awesome. You seemed strange there for a minute. I'm sorry. I'm under a lot of stress. With all these customers. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, uh, what about You've Karen? met Karen, my eight-year-old. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I already yeah, saw that. Yeah, yeah, we met her. All right, bye. <laughs> Stop by anytime, Steve. Yeah, thanks. It was delicious. <laughs> I'll tell you more about the reaping and the scything and whatnot. <laughs> Hello there, Steve. Here for lunch? No, I'm here for answers. Here looking around, though I'm not entirely sure where here is. You're an oh, ending to <laughs> You're playing your little amnesia prank. Well, boy, this is DNA's diner. <laughs> Isn't that right, Edna? Don't listen to Sheriff Dwayne. This is Edna's diner. But ever since the E burned out on the sign, they've been giving me a hard time. Now, don't be like that, Edna. It didn't it's burn out, it just ghosted into Aaron's here. screen from the Sonic <laughs> playthrough. <laughs> wow, that's a fucking throwback. Yeah, man. Stop on by any time, Steve. Fuck you. Hey, what's up, Karen? <laughs> hey, what's your name? Karen. What are you doing? I know. Yeah. Playing. My mom is working, so I gotta stay out of her hair. Wanna play? Gin oh, Rummy. Well, maybe <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're playing Crazy Eights! <laughs> All right. You're gonna lose your ass, boy. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's is there anything else over here? A drawer, an unlocked drawer. Okay. Ooh, a syringe. Um, That's a screwdriver. <laughs> this town is a bit screwy. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Can you take it? Uh, can I take it? Oh, boom! I guess I can. All right, bye. I got too much time on my hands. Right, that that's a catchy song. I know, you got it in my head now. Sorry. You got it in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, all right. Did I already give this boy the dirty magazine? How you did. Remember he was JOing in the uh, right. Yeah, in the oh in the cell. God, I have so much shit. Uh, yeah, and I took the. Didn't I look in the desk drawer already while he was missing? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think you grabbed stuff out of here. Take some shit. All right. Good. Right. Sorry, it's been months since we played this. Yeah. I was when when the request started rolling in to play more of it, I was on tour and they're like, "Oh, so you're not going to fucking do it, are you?" I'm like, "I am I'm not home for 6 weeks." <laughs> All right. Sheriff, if you think I'm going to keep paying this forever, you are crazy. There are limits. Almost boy. as crazy as my handwriting. Yeah, seriously. Uh okay, so the sheriff is uh, blackmailing Boyle, I guess? Maybe. Seems that way. Paying this forever. Okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. That's, yeah, good. Progress. Um, all right. Let's get out of here. I think I did everything. I'm glad I got to see that jerk-off scene. That was fun. <laughs> it was powerful. It's, it's, it's real narrative. <laughs> uh, good world building. <laughs> Where's that? Isn't there a TV station here? Yeah, there we go. Oh. Um. War! Okay. Huh! Good God, y'all! <laughs> what is it good for? A silver Tucker with a yellow interior. Tucker? I hardly know her. Too busy drinking and smoking, they ignore you. Okay. Why? I, I just walk in while everyone else is in line. Great. Uh, what's up, Stay Range? tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. Oh, cool. So don't go away. Oh, man. 
Okay. And what's your name, hombre? Hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. This is weird. Would you like my autograph, Steve? Uh, yeah. Here you go, then. Thanks. So... Want to talk to me about TV violence? <laughs> violence? What about it? Children watch your show. Don't you think this violence is bad for them? Is there- Violence oh. is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. <laughs> Where would we be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer me that, Mr. Know-it-all. We'd probably but what about be in Ohio. But what about have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? There's no what studies. Room? I rip the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most kids don't see godless heathen engines on a regular basis. Oh, they okay. Know, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Range Rider and shoot the bejesus out of them. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. Um, I gotta go, man. Wind up with their scalps hanging from a buckskin belt. Jesus Christ! Oh, what the? F oh, what? Stickeroo! <laughs> what? You can't say that on television. What is happening? The parents that are griping about violence on TV <laughs> are the same parents that go outside in the morning to fetch their papers, secure in the knowledge that they won't get an arrow through the noodle because the violence they hate so much done cleared the engines out of the neighborhood. Why would yeah Native Americans shoot my spaghetti? <laughs> but should violence be treated as entertainment? Check my rating, son. Violence is entertainment. I just put it on the air. If some kid watches, that says something about the kid, not me. Oh, so true. Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. <laughs> back on the air? Who's that applause sign for? Oh, the audience. <laughs> a corny western backdrop complete with a cardboard TP. God, I haven't thought of the word TP in forever. I, I thought it was spelled T-I-P-I, -I, but... <laughs> Oh, you think? That's a more fun way to spell it. Uh... Is that all I can do in here? Is it? Did I imagine that? There's gotta be... Is there another room in here or something? Oh, maybe I can go over here. The crew just hanging out, talking, relaxing, maxing all- Oh, hello! Oh! Mr. McKnight! No, don't play Hello no. by Adele! No! Alexa! Alexa! Stop! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what did we say that woke her up? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Could you hear that? Playing Hello by Adele. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did everyone at home, did your, did your echoes turn on as well? I've heard that's a thing. Aaron, please, I'm begging you, start something. This okay. background is awful. <laughs> What's he, what's so bad about it? Hey, sport. <laughs> this is a private office. Yeah, I know, Mr. McKnight. Hair. I Stupid hair. <laughs> Police to meet you. <laughs> I've lost my memory. That's news. The hell it is. You always were a kidder, Steve. What? Any real news to tell me? Actually, I was just wanting to know more about the TV station. <laughs> hey, WHAR is the only television station in Harvest. Since the old Sentinel went under, what with the newspaper building burning down and all, we're golden. <coughs> Nobody competes with us, sport. Uh, you and your partners must be rich. Partners? I run the whole show solo, pal. What the fuck do you mean, partners? <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Allie. When you unplugged Alexa, you also unplugged our timer. <laughs> so I don't know where we're at. It's okay. Oh, boy. Oh, is that right? Okay. Oh, oh, did it like, right. it, it kind of came saved back. saved where we were? Yeah, cool. That's wild. Thank you. It's got a little internal battery or something. Cool. Uh, it says there's a safe behind him. Oh. Mr. McKnight's secret safe. Shh. It requires a number of combinations before it reacts. Shh. <laughs> Shut up. All right, see ya. How about you just walk into the TV station while they're filming? It, yeah. This is weird. Like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> well, this whole thing is like kind of Truman Show-ish, you know? Yeah. It all feels like it's a big weird play being put on for your benefit. Oh, sure. Gain Memorial School. That's bizarre. All right. That they would name their school after a serial killer. It's got- there's a bake sale. That's pretty cool. Steve! Hey! Look at you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since You like my rhyme? 
I've been Why working on my rhymes. <laughs> you could say that. Good. That. <laughs> Good. That's a nice part of my job. <laughs> Turning fine young men and women out into the world and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel. God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? <laughs> Who you know, am I? Well, I'm Mr. Harold, I'm you. principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hoped you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fella like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. Oh, that could mean anything. Uh, I, I would. So many bad possibilities <laughs> of what that could mean. I probably would have not taken it as weird if you didn't fucking lean into it. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> this Boy, game. I oh well. The old newspaper. The sheriff never did investigate that fire properly. Call it a newspaper man's instinct. Though I can't imagine why Sheriff Dwayne would cover up anything. Yeah, he seems so normal. I mean, the only ones who stood to profit from the newspaper going out of business was the owner of the TV He's station. Like taking a drink of and water. Mr. McKnight had Mr. Had <laughs> an airtight alibi. <laughs> if not for the fire, I never would have wound up as principal of Gein Memorial. The fire? Yeah, there was like a big fire that took down the... the building. Oh, the Sentinel. That's yeah. right, someone burned it down. Yes, yeah. I remember what that. What were you saying now. this game? Oh, this game makes more use out of fluorescent white ambient noise. Like, uh, fluorescent light ambient noise, I should say. Oh, yeah. It's just like... Mm. Room tone. Yeah. Pause for room tone. <laughs> Gain Memorial. Sounds like a cemetery or a hospital, not a school. This institution was named for a great man. That's not right. Whose first name escapes me? It was Ed. He epitomized the great potential within us all. Not true. Big guy. I hear there's an honorary plaque commemorating him within the lodge. Within the lodge. Big guy, born some the quality counter. time. The greatest gift I can bestow upon you as your former principal is a word of advice. Join the order of the harvest moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future. And without dust. Without Which dust what? I won't sneeze as much? <laughs> that sounds great! <laughs> no, we're gonna fucking kill you. Oh. Got it. Surely mine is the most important position in Harvest. The ability to mold young minds. That's power. Alright, don't make you it sound so creepy. Sure Mold doesn't have a mind. Here, big guy. <laughs> Stupid. But he only deals with my failures. When I do my job right, the sheriff never sees a thing. What? Excuse me? Oh, because he's saying, like, when he turns out good kids, they don't do crime. Oh, got it. Why do you keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, lad. You're As big and you're a guy. <laughs> Sorry, sport champ. Now, <laughs> you know what the All right, chief. <laughs> so you should always hedge your bets and pay tribute to your inferiors. I'm sorry? You never know who will come to power or who. Even now, wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, you might already be a member of the order with access to the lodge. If that were the case, you'd be my superior, and I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect and spent some quality time with you. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he just came out and said it, huh? Ugh. Said the fucking quiet part loud. <laughs> well, ask him about quality time. Yeah. I just respect everyone in case they're better than I am. But they usually aren't. <laughs> what do you mean, quality time? Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline, corporal punishment, as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Okay, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society and a fit candidate for the lodge. All right. Can you please at least look at me when you're creepily <laughs> yeah. coming on to me? You turned out pretty good. Except for that amnesia nonsense. It's not nonsense. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> Maybe you need a little straightening out. 
Oh, the things I could do to you. Oh, God. <laughs> You'd be a much finer young man with just a little quality time. I wish they were more direct. <laughs> I wish they wouldn't leave so much to the imagination. <laughs> what a quality time is just like a VHS he puts into the machine. Yeah. Just like quality time. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> You gotta spend some quality time with me. Well, right now, Jack! <laughs> adult education is a wonderful thing. As is adult quality. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really lean into the quality time thing? Oy vey. Alright, oh, there's a class in session. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Anyway, what's up? Goodness. Class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. Oh. The other grave problem is that no one knows what reticent it. means. Yeah. I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. What is what's wrong with their heads mean? <laughs> you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes, right, class? What? I'm glad what? you stopped by. Steve. Hold on, what? <laughs> I think they. <laughs> what's wrong with their heads? Show me the heads. <laughs> Not really. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Keep your voice down. Questions for me, or shall I continue with class? Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> yes, I do. Ask away then. All right. What about the fucking harvest? Can you tell me anything about the harvest? Harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, Killing. I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the order at the lodge. <laughs> Got your nose. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Got your nose. <clears throat> this lodge. What do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with Did a... the music just get louder a little bit? Yeah, it's getting weird. That noble intent is known only to those within the Order. <laughs> Sorry, you're about to go noble. right at the age to join the... <laughs> <laughs> and you will do so if you care about your future. All right, I get it. Everyone wants me to join the Lodge. Yeah. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat... Um, oh the no. Generation gap quite nicely. Oh, oh what the f is conducting another air raid drill. What is going on in this <laughs> town? <laughs> what? Oh, this is so weird. If an A bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? Um Oh, what, what a cartoony oh, moment. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm really struggling with the tone. <laughs> God, that was exciting. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> yeah. Stop by any time, Steven. Oh, I will. Thanks, this made a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> You've really clarified a lot of things for me. Quality time? Quality yeah, I'll come back for quality time later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where the fuck is the exit? Let me get out of here. Fuck. There Jesus. You. Oh, man. Let's go to the- oh, man. Let's go to the meat plant. Yeah, what could be more fun? Okay. Is that meat? Uh... I think it's an animal or something. Is it breathing? Oh, yeah, they're like cats. Yeah, these are all cats. Oh, okay, got it. That's fine. A red brick building with a horrible stench coming from within. I Sorry, wonder. that's me. <laughs> that was the air raid. <laughs> I was raiding the air with fart. <laughs> All right. Hi, cats. Oh, God, are they killing the cats? No. What These about are that one on the table? Cats. Oh. <laughs> Examine the splotch! This used to be a kitty cat. Uh, I love how they're just hanging out, too. They're like, I'm next! Carcasses of several small animals. Oh, okay. Pat O'Reilly! Huh. Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, 
as about he cleaves a cat head off. Yeah. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. <laughs> this is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia, Hokum. Hokum? Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? <laughs> Cat killer. <laughs> Extraordinaire. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. He hated killing he cats. Me, on the other hand? Ugh. A lot of times, when I'm finished <laughs> scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. Can't imagine but why. red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day, and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. A juicy red cat steak? Mmm. How big is that, like a quarter? Help that, wouldn't it? What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't know. What's I wrong with your dad? See him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were such a kidder, Steve. Funny how that's beginning to sound like a stock answer. Like it was coached. Whoa. You sure are acting like a kidder, son. With your dad ill, you're gonna need to start behaving like an adult. Especially if you're gonna take over the family business. And what is that? Kidding! <laughs> huh. You may come to realize that this business. Yeah, 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 that. Yeah, 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 I got that. The intestines. Yeah, 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 we're good. But red meat. Yep. Then by uh huh, yeah, I saw yeah, the red right. meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, meat. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do a you cat the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. That's not true. And we only carry the finest <laughs> meat. Only the juiciest cuts. We cut up flies. Once you take over the business, you'll realize Tiny the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? I'm pretty sure this is the only place to get meat in this town, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's good. Yeah, can I think you want to play along as much as you can. Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son... Here's a freebie! bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Okay... What about cutting costs? There are certain tricks of the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things, if you're creative. What? For example, I kill cats. <laughs> Alright, bye. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. So, is my dad the owner of this plant? I think so. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, I think he works with this guy, but your dad's ill right now. I don't remember him being ill. But... Yeah. Okay. I don't go. think we've seen our dad yet. Have we not? There was the guy on the couch, but I think that was Stephanie's dad. Oh. Yeah. Right. Ah, uh, missile base. Um. Sir? Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Oh, right. The Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. <laughs> At this point, so I'm asking an for it. Act, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. Draft? But at least you're not an alien. <laughs> you see, there's the incoming cat war. There. Sometimes Swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Nuclear? Making America <laughs> safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear what? missiles? Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. Sorry about pink Okamis. Oh. The, yeah. the price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against We accidents. have vodka plants in America. Nope. <laughs> Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. It is? Then <laughs> you have sole control of the uh, Got it. All right. Missiles. <laughs> Gathering That's more right. Info. Been in charge here since WW2. Oh, like 10 years ago. My lower torso shot off in the war. 
I was wondering about that. Mm. Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. A very they low desk. <laughs> I left my legs in Dusseldorf. And my heart in San Francisco. <laughs> of course, they felt that <laughs> after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me. I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. Oh, how That's sad. Why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Doesn't look cushy. Yeah. You're on an asphalt pavement. <laughs> it's a great job for somebody who's uh, mentally unstable. Tell me about your lower torso. <laughs> yeah. Why are you asking about the button, son? I'm just a little nervous about it. I mean, suppose an accident happens. Okay. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. It's around here somewhere. Keep it on my person all the time. Oh. Well, that's nice. Good. No commie bastard is getting his mitts on this button. No siree, Bob. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust and harvest except me. Oh, well, I'll be sleeping well at night. <laughs> yes. Make you feel better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> harvest is a fine town, steeped in traditional American values. But that lodge, well, it makes me suspicious. Don't mind saying it. They've got their fingers into everything around here. Like a certain red commie bastard menace, which shall be nameless. Yeah, I wonder which one you're talking about. <laughs> uh. You read me wrong, mister. I think you should join the lodge, infiltrate it, and report back on any red sympathizers. Oh. Your report could affect my decision on what I've got to do. Interesting. That's a different wrinkle. Oh. Okay. Tell me about commie bastard. I mean, I guess. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? Um, I have amnesia. Uh... I appreciate your honesty, comrade. Are you gonna die? Holy shit, Aaron! Oh my god! No! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Wow! Didn't see that coming, we should have saved. <laughs> what in the fuck? Alright. Good game, Aaron. Yeah, thanks, man. Nice job. Yeah, appreciate that. I, you I know, mean, for future reference, if someone says, give me a reason why I shouldn't shoot you, give them a reason. Well, I, f I don't know if it was like playing mind games with me or something. Oh, man. Do we have to go all the way back it's now? It's fine, dude. It's not fine. Yeah, well, it's, it's that took forever. No, you skip all the dialogue. It's, it takes like two seconds. Really? D don't you have to? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, just Lord. gotta go with the fucking, uh... All right, let's pause. Diner. We'll be right back. And we're back! Hello. Okay, so, Aaron got himself shot in the head, but that's fine. We're back. It our, happens. Our, our head's intact. It fucking happens. You know, what are you gonna do? Yeah, so, did you not, uh, want to, uh, uh did you not want to finish the conversation with the guy and pick the it, other thing? It was over, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was it. There was no other thing. Okay. Talked Ex to him once. Well, I talked to him again, and he came back, and he was talking about llamas or something, and I was like, no, I'm friends with the llamas, and he's like, oh, good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, spy on the firemen because they're doing a lot of art, and I'm suspicious of their art. All right, they must be commie bastards. Like he's crazy. So fair enough. Yeah. Mm. Red eyes gleam with oh, eerie malevolence from the darkness. Male volence. Male. Only initiates oh God. into the hall of the order of the harvest moon. Would you like a lozenge? <laughs> Say something. I did not speak. My mind touched yours. Please stop. <laughs> but how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? Uh, um, yes, I'd like to join the lodge. This, this feels like a big choice, are you sure? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Right? Because everyone wants me to join the lodge, so I gotta pretend. Okay, I guess so. There are always obstacles to the path. Well, you just asked me if you I wanted to- first <laughs> fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. You must log on to www.thelodge.org. I was gonna say! 
thelodge.org. It's like a weirdly mundane thing for him to say. <laughs> yeah. There are always obstacles in every spiritual path. You must fill out these forms in triplicate <laughs> and collate them. Paperwork? Why should I fill out a stupid form? Okay, give me the application. Applications are available at the post office. Oh. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Then I just fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. What test is that? Uh, just the test of whether or not he's going to be in the lodge. The test of grammar and proper punctuation in your application fill-out. Yeah. Then there will be a comprehension test. <laughs> it's funny, I was listening to him, and clearly he's like right on the mic for that voice. Mm -hmm. But because he was right on the mic, he was like being really careful about his plosives. So he was like, You will talk to... Postmaster. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah. The masonry, masonry looks as though it may be from the Dark Ages. The texture looks like it's from the 90s. Arm arming gre alarming green sludge oozes from the drain. I think Mario's in there. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bro, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. Uh, next we gotta go to the fucking general store. Okay. I don't even remember where that is. There it is. You're just working your way clockwise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess you kind of is, huh? Uh, let's see. We, got we were here there. before. Yeah, yeah. But there's supposed to be a copier here. Hey, girl. There How it is doing? in the back. In the back? Under the white sign, I believe. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? I remember the 90s. Uh, let's see. There's a note, right? No, the checkbook. Yeah, yeah, checkbook. Okay. He's on the copier. Thank you. Free copies, made here. Oh, yeah. Uh, just so everyone knows, I'm fucking... I'm, there's a walkthrough. Like, <laughs> well, how could there not be? I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this game. We'd be wandering around forever. I think Thank this is you. more about the experience of, you know, yeah, dealing with this game. All right, I made photocopies. That's great. Yeah, spring 1953. Bum, 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 bum. Air conditioned. Boy, that's a big deal. Yeah, at that t at the time. Sure. Yeah, seriously. Were you gonna talk to that sweepy man? I think I already did. Okay. Uh, let's go to the post office. I gotta get my application, bro. Hmm. What? Have I been here yet? Yeah. You talked to the postman. I don't remember her being there. A blind woman is trying to read her mail. Sounds like the beginning of a joke. <laughs> Sorry, the aristocrats! Neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. Hell. <laughs> okay. What it's the... been missing for months now. <laughs> I keep meaning to get another, but... Do you want another flash? The button's <laughs> very distinctive. <laughs> what I'd do you know about the button? I'd have to file with Washington to get another, and I just don't need the extra paperwork. Sure, wish I could find it. Okay. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Why would I? Yeah, That's a part of mailing things. All right. Here you go. Oh yeah. My button. Why I lost that months ago? Where did you find it? I stole like it in a thing. wall. <laughs> I found it in the ashes, at the newspaper building. What are you implying? That I had something to do with setting the fire? Preposterous. Why, a hundred people must have visited that site since the fire. But like me, when I said it. Shit! <laughs> Cut the crap. We both know that you used fire. Do we and really? if I did? I guess I'd be pretty grateful to anyone who could help get me off the hook. No oh, shit. You seem like a capable lad. Hypothetically, let's say there was a gas can sitting in the evidence room at the sheriff's office. There is. A gas can which might have some incriminating prints on it. Someone might be very grateful for the return of that gas can. 
say grateful enough to provide whoever returned it with a large application. I'm not following. Oh, and Steve, <laughs> you'll keep this to yourself. If you're smart. But what about the person who finds the gas can? <laughs> what then, sir? Oh, that's right, you have it already. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe it. After all this time. Where's my application? My gas Doyle? can. <laughs> Here, take it. With my thanks. You know, this morning as I was making my rounds, I noticed an awful lot of television aerials on the roofs. Seems like more and more each day. You got me this can just in time, what? youngster. I may have need of it again. You know, generally you it's mean? probably a bad idea to There's another telegraph your crimes. Yeah. To investigate the Sentinel fire. If you'd like to get something else on the blackmailing bastard, check around the television station. Why you still can? Oh. No, so right? check the television station? Oh boy. The plot thickens. Fantastic. Do you need help, ma'am? Miss? Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, thank you for returning my gas can. Now I'll burn down a bunch of other shit. Um. A crushed paper cup with smudged lipstick. Did you want to grab that? I don't think so. Okay. Do, do I? I don't know. I just pick up everything in these games. You can't even do it. Okay. It won't even let you pick it's up just the crushed can. There for ambiance. Sheesh. Uh, okay, so I guess. Uh, let's see. I. I have the application now, right? Lodge application. Ugh, I'm not reading that Good shit. Good God. <laughs> I just, like, a shudder ran through my body. Yeah. Um, That's a ticket. Alright, now I got a filled out application. Nice. Great handwriting. Nobody will <laughs> tell me what my middle or last name are. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Alright. I'm gonna go to the diner. Okay. Uh, Not the lodge, huh? No, because, uh, Boyle, the, uh, I need to blackmail the sheriff. Wait. Oh. Sheriff Dwayne is Sheriff Boyle, right? No, 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 no. Uh, yes. Sheriff Dwayne Boyle? Is that him? Talk to him. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Copy. Wait, save the game first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Before something horrible yeah. goes wrong. I'll save, the game. I'll save it in poop lol. <laughs> Good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just gotta cover all my bases. Of course. Now, where did you get these, Steve? From poop law? Uh, in your desk, where you went, doesn't matter. I guess not. Of course, I could kill you right now. But you won't, because I've got the original checks, which prove that Boyle burned down the newspaper building, and that you've been blackmailing him to keep it quiet. Oh. I've hidden. <laughs> Anything happens to me, they might turn up. Soon. Uh-huh. All right. You've got me, boy. Tell you what, and give you one of Sheriff Dwayne's custom deluxe get out of jail free cards. Ooh. That is, if I catch you doing something, I'll look the other way. Once. That's the deal. How about it? Um, yeah. I guess? I don't know. All right. Just bring me the originals, and we'll close the deal. You can keep the copies. With me shooting you in the head. Yeah. Uh, all right. I love blackmailing somebody yeah. about their blackmail. I could kill you right now. Edna's like, this is the guy who protects me. <laughs> mm. uh, all right, here's my application, bro. It's pretty, could, pretty formal. I could kill you right now. I see you've managed to acquire an application. Next time, Gadget demonstrates <laughs> resourcefulness, a desirable trait for prospective members. You need a rest. Report back here for your next assignment. Okay. Oh. I'm up here now. <laughs> oh, shit. How did I get all the way up there? <laughs> 
That's a mystery. That's a hell of a lodge. Yeah, seriously. Oh, what oh, a day! A long day of <laughs> fucking crazy shit! Oh, hell yeah, dude. I didn't need this. Take it all <laughs> off. I'd probably take my pants off, too, now that I'm... <laughs> Ah, uh, nice relaxing dreams. What do you people want from me? Welcome to our order. Ow! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Burgers. Burgers! Bleeding <laughs> eyes. What is fucking happening? I had the craziest dream. I so trapped in the dumbest game I've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> this always happens when I sleep with my jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably slide out of them on camera. <laughs> oh man! Wow. All right, day two. Yeah. How about that, huh? No need to shower or put on different clothes. No, no, no. Well, well they got to redraw the sprite. Nobody wants to do that shit. You're probably right. Um. All right. I guess I'll fucking get out of here. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Hank. Forgot about Hank. Boy, he sure, uh, gets a lot done in his life. You, uh... What do you want, Steve? I want you to stop watching that TV! His... Ask Dad? Ask my dad, I guess? I hear him at night, thrashing and moaning. I crawl out my window and see Mom's shadow on the shitty. Pot holders on her hands, reaching for him. How can she do the stitches on him wearing those? Wouldn't she slip? Don't be silly. She wouldn't do that. Of course she'd slip. Maybe that's why he's not getting better. So he's got like a cold or... <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's my bedroom. My god, this game is so weird. Yeah, I know. Uh... Alright. My mom's here. More cookies. Baby still looks dead. Yep. So dead. Guess I better get the newspaper. I didn't do that last time. You should so. patch up that crack in the ceiling. Um, hey kid. Hey, Jimmy did James. You ever find any sneakers? Uh, oh shit. Did you not find the sneakers? No, I did. Whoa, that's great. Right. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? You know this Whaley and Principal Harold. <laughs> I got a Charizard first edition. Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. Oh. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Sure. Sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Swell. Here's the keys to the broom closet at Gene Memorial. How'd you have those? Every day. About 345, as soon as everyone has gone home. Sometimes I hide in there beforehand. daddy -o, I see some stuff that's real nasty. Take it from me. You made a good swap. See you later, alligator. Get out of here, you little beatnik freak. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Uh, In a wild crocodile. <laughs> where's the newspaper? Where's the newspaper? Oh, here it is. Uh, can you do the newspaper? Oh, shit, did I miss it? Oh, did I miss doing it? Fuck. Are you serious? Alright, whatever. It's okay, you can oh, reload. Still there. Uh, oh, right. Wait, did I reload right before the day two? Or did I save right before well, day we, two? We saved in the diner when you were blackmailing the sheriff. That wasn't too long ago. That wasn't too long ago, was it? I don't know if it matters, though. I don't know either, but I just don't want to go too deep if we screwed up. <laughs> All right. All right. It yeah. does take literally two seconds to get back here. Poop lol. That's my save. Don't wear it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, then we did it. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the shit. What do you think? No. Click, click, click. Like, sounds good. I'll take All right. it. All right. See ya. All right, I'm blackmailing you. <laughs> Sick. Dope. Uh, and then to the lodge. To the lodge. For my filled out app. Did I fill out the? App? Yeah, I did. All right. Yep. Here you go, bud. Ice. You need a dope. Nice <laughs> handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit. <laughs> All right, save it. Uh, uh, yeah. Save game. Poop with a sad face. Oh, yep. No, that's pop. Oh. No, <laughs> 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 
right. So many emotions. Uh, I hear. Don't. Bye. Bye. Good Hello. talk. All right. Uh. Wait, I can't grab the newspapers. All right, cool. Then you didn't miss anything. Really? Does the walkthrough say you can? Yeah, this walkthrough says to grab the papers, but I guess I don't. Maybe they're in the in the kitchen. Uh, they're right here. There's literally a fucking box full of them. But I'll check the kitchen. Check. Whoa, look at that crack, dude. That's what I said. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't know what you were talking about. Oh. I do remember you saying that. Okay. You just thought I was talking about crack? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is where my my, oh, wow. my brain went. Apparently, he's like, why is he talking about crack? He's into hard drugs. Well, I'll just pretend to laugh and move on with my life. <laughs> uh, it's weird how your fucking brain does that, too. Oh, sure. Like, file it away for later. Yeah, because like, I literally remember you talking about crack. Yeah. But, like, I just didn't clock it at all. I'll sort through the files later and try to make sense of it. What? What could you. You know. Uh, I like that you live near a giant, like, transformer. Yeah. It's nice, uh. Nice decor. Damn it. Did you trade him? about remembering to take out the paper. You need to wise up, pal, before I get mad. I couldn't fucking grab it, you dick! Sorry! <laughs> Is he still there? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, you have it saved with poop frown. <sighs> You're fucking right. You're so right. It's okay. Let's load it. We like, just- we gotta solve this paper situation! I know, like, where am I getting the fucking paper? That's how I feel. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Please, wait. I'm waiting! Please, wait. How do I get This'll the make sense soon. fucking paper? How do I get it? Fuck! Allie, any ideas? I don't know. Okay. Is it in my bedroom? Oops. Do I already have paper in my... I, why do I have tampons? I do not remember. You grabbed them. It's in my inventory! It's in your inventory? You silly goose. Motherfucker. Alright. Make sure you do the swap, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, kid. Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. <laughs> you just keep doing that and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? You threatening me? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Uh, yes. What, what could you... Uh, Kays. So what do I care about what they're doing? I've seen some crazy shit, Daddy-o. Alright, uh... Yeah, 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 I guess I should go to the school now, eh? I don't know. You're the one with the walkthrough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to make this seem natural. Oh, but, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah get, uh, why not? <laughs> well, sure. Uh, okay, what was it? The broom closet? Inexplicable dents. There's a teacher that goes around bashing people with baseball bats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should really change that dialogue there. Those dents are very explicable. Well, that yeah. didn't work. What? Oh! Oh my god. Hell yeah. Ms. Whaley and Principal Harold. <gasps> Oops, excuse me. You're busted. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. What happened? Hold on. <gasps> what? Screwing in the school broom closet? What will people think? I mean, they'll that's exactly nothing, what they think. You little bastard. You have no proof of your allegation. And we'll be sure to have. Not likely now. Shit! Hold on. Did you blow that? I think I might have blown it. Uh... Maybe they're still in there. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> You're busted! What? Screwing in the What the hell? Closet? How'd you what know we were in here? <laughs> are you blackmailing us, you little shit? Yeah. Language. Calm down, Mr. Harold. Steven would never do that. He's a smiley bear, but we should give him a token of our um. appreciation for <laughs> okay. his silence. Here, Stephen, take this baseball bat. You'll find it quite useful. Ooh. Oh, you mean the one with kids' brains all over it? Uh, okay. That a boy. Take the bat, and we'll take the photo. The photo. However, will I keep the children in line now? I have a spare I can bring in tomorrow, unless you prefer a chainsaw this time. I'll talk to Mrs. Phelps. Okay. Or you could reason with them, I don't know. Yeah. 
Just treat them like people? Yeah. Um, alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go to the P office, bro. That's that's short for post office. Mm -hmm. Uh go. Go. Manhole key. What the fuck? Wait, do I have a manhole key? Apparently I'm supposed to have a jar of aura loop. Okay, do you I do. do? You do. I have no recollection of any of these items. That's fine. That's fine. It all happened in weird circumstances. Uh manhole key. So does that mean there's a manhole key around here somewhere? What the fuck? What the fuck is this talking about? <laughs> oh, I have questions. I'm sorry. The walkthrough says, Go to post office. Use the jar of aura lube on the manhole key. Mm. The fuck are you talking about? Was I supposed to pick up a manhole key somewhere? I don't know. Look in your in inventory again at the keys that you have. I have a broom closet key. Okay. And that's it. Well then. I got a meet permission slip. And get my dad to sign. Allie, would you mind looking up where we were supposed to get the manhole key? I will look it up. Thank you. <laughs> got a mortuary ledger. Damn it. Manhole this is the weirdest key? inventory screen I've ever seen. Like everything's like either way too small or oddly huge. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the baseball bat's tiny, but the burnt flyer's gigantic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does kind of make everything feel a little like jumbled up. Like nothing's organized. Mm. Um yeah, I don't think there's uh I'm I'm looking at Allie struggling to find <laughs> literally control F key. And there's nothing like right at the beginning. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Um, can't find the manhole key, can you? <laughs> Figures. Well, I guess you're fucked. Well, stupid bastard. Can't carry on. It apparently could have been at the police station. Oh. No, wait. Never mind. That's the okay. unlock evidence room. Well, you know, I feel like this is good for an episode. And you then think so? If people want us to keep doing it, we'll keep doing it. Yeah, you're probably right. God, this is weird. Yeah. So freaking weird. This is this game is fucking outrageous. <laughs> it's 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 only getting stranger as time goes on. But we went on a real journey, didn't we? We sure did. I better save it right now. Oh uh, word. As yeah. Save game. Poop like straight line face. Oh, there's no that doesn't exist. Oh, the slashy face. There you mm, go. Poop, I guess. <laughs> Not quite sure. Mm. All right, next time on Game Grubs. All right, next time on Game Grubs. Let, let us know aggressively if you want more Harvester. Yeah, if, if the if the views explode again, we'll we'll, we'll play some more of this. Yep. God, it's weird. What, what what do you think there are like? It's Tuesday now. Do you think it, there's like five days? I have no idea. Yeah. Literally no clue. Yeah, me neither. Anyway, see you everyone. Goodbye then. It looks like I'm about to kiss that guy. Well. Only time will tell. Wait, no, 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 uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no